Hello INFJs, how are you today? I am doing splendid. Uh, so, uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, something that's been on my mind for a little bit because I have been, um, for those of you who don't know, I watch the Joe Rogan podcast quite frequently. It's probably my favorite podcast as far as like, um, feeling like it's a really good way to get information that I'm not, uh, getting from, you know, the, the mainstream sources, in my opinion, it just doesn't feel like it's enough. Uh, there, you know, topics aren't discussed in length and they aren't discussed in, uh, in the full manner that I would want it to be discussed. And, uh, I feel like Rogan's podcast really just gives uh, his guests that platform to just discuss things in length. And um, I just, I feel like after watching one of his most recent podcasts, it's on Spotify, it's probably still there. I don't know if it's going to be there for long, but uh the the latest podcast discuss um something that i don't really want to mention in this video yet because it is quite controversial and you know it's there's a lot of censorship involved and a lot of silencing involved but this podcast was absolutely riveting and when I was watching it, I felt like I was watching a scene in a movie or something. It was that, you know, powerful, I guess. I mean, I don't know what other word to use. It, it kind of just made me feel like, okay, these are some answers that I have been looking for about a lot of things that have been happening lately. Um, and I think it's really time for us to really wake up and to really just realize that people around us don't necessarily have our best interests. They don't have our best interests at hand. I don't, I don't know what the, I had to phrase it. It's like, People don't really have our best interests. Uh, they don't. They're not really thinking about our best interests. I think that that's a better way to put it. Because you know, we live our lives and we think that we're doing things normally, and we think that um, we think that. Okay, just making sure there's nothing in the background that shouldn't be there. <laughs> so, you know. Don't want something that's I don't want to be on camera to be on camera if you you know catch my drift. But anyway, uh yeah, so I highly recommend that you know if you don't have Spotify or you don't watch Joe Rogan to maybe consider just getting popping on there and just checking it out. Um I'm not sponsored by Spotify, obviously. I'm not influential enough or I'm not involved enough for that to happen yet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it will, it will literally, like, if you already were kind of just questioning a lot of things, and I'm speaking very vaguely and cryptically, because I'm trying to tread on, um, I'm trying to, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells a little bit if I'm talking about this, but I just want to be careful and not say anything stupid, that's all, uh, because I still value my YouTube channel, and I don't want to, uh, uh, I don't want to put myself in trouble when I don't have to. So, because otherwise I would say a lot of things that would, would, would sound a little controversial. Um, but yeah, so I highly recommend just going on there and checking it out because if you're looking for answers, you know, if you've had questions, if you're seeking answers, uh, you'll find something on there that is, uh, that is, is quite eye-opening even for an Asian person like me. 
um so yeah i i i was i don't want to say shocked i wasn't shocked because a part of my intuition was telling me that there's something very wrong um my intuition was telling me that things are just not making sense anymore uh there's just so much craziness and it's almost as if the, the universe or the world was a video game. Uh, the person playing the video game is just really just amping up the uh, the craziness. Uh, like if you play some city, you're just like intentionally making things go awry because it's entertaining for you. Uh, I've been feeling like our world has come to that point in some way. I don't know what's happening. I don't know who's in, who is causing all this i just know that there's a lot of craziness and things are just not making sense to me really it just the things that are happening right now don't make sense to me maybe it's just the way the world and the universe shifts you know when things are changing when things are not going to be the same anymore uh, there is a lot of uh, friction involved and maybe that's what we're experiencing but you know it's not just about political or socioeconomic it's just it's just like it's spiritual too and it's uh, like physical and uh, climate change things like that all these things that are happening that just seem to all happen at once which don't really make sense to me it's like oh yeah I mean there was a you know there was the whole 2020 crazy thing, you know, and um, with, uh, you know, staying inside and being in lockdown and stuff like that. And then now there's just like crazy weather and, you know, people acting strange and it just, it seems like it's doesn't seem real and because it's just so many things happening at once, which is like, what's so special about this year that makes everything want to be crazy you know what i mean like i understand people being crazy but like why is the weather acting all crazy at the same time is it related is it connected is one affecting the other maybe 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 they're just you know it's a vicious cycle things are affecting each other but uh what is causing all of it what is causing everything to be the way it is right now and and I'm going to go back to like, yeah, watching that podcast. Um, it's uh, Joe Rogan talks with uh, a, a, a medical doctor and a uh, evolutionary biologist about uh, about some things that have been kept from us, uh, some answers that have been kept from us, and uh, more questions are being asked now that. Uh, make things seem very, very sketchy, in my opinion. I personally kind of, after watching that, feel like I've kind of had enough. And it, it makes me really want to just... It makes me quite furious. Not furious, but like a little bit annoyed because... You know, I've always seen myself as an artist and that's all I really want to be. But more and more every day, I feel that my purpose isn't necessarily just to be an artist and to, you know, make music or to make artworks or things like that. I think my purpose isn't to to be a silent person and to just uh, accept things the way they are so that I can get a job and get paid and even though I do want to be that you know even though I, I desperately want to be able to you know provide for myself and other people it as long as I can make it through and you know still speak my truth I think the speaking the truth part is more important than ever everything else because I think that is just who I am and it can't go away I can't 
get rid of it now. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone said something that really, you know, made its way into my subconscious or something like that. But yeah, I just, I feel like, um, I feel like I really need to just open up about that. And so, yeah, I, 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 w I would really like to say right now that if you're watching this, that you should wake up and to really question everything that that is happening to you and to really question everyone's intention surrounding you. Um, these past couple of years, I've been really th realizing that the, the amount of dissatisfaction with the world and existence around me is overwhelming. The amount of negativity and the amount of uh, suffering around me is uh, just, in my opinion, it's unnecessary. I have a lot of things to be unhappy about in my life. There's a lot of things that I feel like personally, you know, whether it be my health or my mental health or, you know, uh, my history and things like that. There's a lot of things that I'm dissatisfied with, but I'm still able to accept that and to still have hope and still have optimism that if I continue to be the best that I can be and work towards being the best that I can be, I can have better days. And I'm not going to say that I am, you know, one of the people that is like greatly suffering. I'm not homeless or I'm not like, you know, in poverty and things like that. But, uh, you know, you can have, you can be well supported with wealth and things like that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are, uh, that you can be happy. I mean, if your health is deteriorating, it doesn't matter how much support or money that you can get. It's just your health is deteriorating. So, you know, you, you're, you're better off having nothing at all at that point, because if it goes any worse, you can not have your life anymore, you know? And so, yeah, it really began with me, uh, losing my health, you know, when I was in my college years, my early 20s, to really understand that the world isn't what it seems to be. Because I started looking at the things that I was eating and my diet and things like that and what was put what I was putting into my body and realizing that the people that provide you with these things don't necessarily care about you or if you die tomorrow they would not even care like there would there would no there would be no thought about you and why this is the case why people are behaving that way and why people are living that way and acting that way it doesn't make sense to me because I am not like that but I'm pretty sure there are people out there that do not value your life whatsoever because they don't know you first of all and if they even if they did know you they wouldn't maybe they wouldn't like you very much and it's not not your fault it's just some people are uh very sinister and uh very evil and uh that's just the way it is that's just how things are and to be naive and to think that people will save you at the end of the day, people will try to help you, uh, even the closest people to you will not care. You know, it's like even the, some of the people that are closest to you, uh, you know, if you're unlucky, they won't, they won't care, you know, like at the end of the day, because they're not you. And so, uh, it is in your best interest to take care of yourself and to really 
uh, look out after yourself because if you don't, you will have to deal with it yourself at the end of the day. So really start to uh, take care of yourself um, constantly every day. That's what I do. I constantly try to find ways to improve myself and to make my life a better situation, whether it be my health or, you know, my physical health, my mental health, uh, working on my career, working on my creativity. These are all things that I aim to improve because, you know, I've been in a position where I didn't care about those things and I ended up uh, being in a place in my life where I wasn't very happy with myself or with what was happening. So I would encourage you to uh, really start asking yourself some questions to, you know, take your head out of the sand and look around and look at the world around you and look at the people around you and just be like, I wonder what that person, like what that means or what that what the purpose of that is or what is the answer to that am i what questions do i have for the universe around me what's not being answered what is being answered and asking oneself am i truly living out who i'm supposed to be am i truly living out what i was meant to be in this life and um really questioning and, ro and, and really, um, I, I don't want to say roasting yourself, but like really like um, interrogate yourself and be like, what am I doing? And why am I doing this? Am I doing this because I want to do it or somebody else told me to do it? Am I living my true life the way I want it to? Or am I just doing it because I think I'm supposed to do it this way? Or I'm just following everyone else? We all have the power to affect change. We, we were born into this life and we think that we have to fall in line with the structure. But, and we feel like just because there are people before us that have created the structure and it's, you know, it's, it's not your fault, it's just, it, these are the, it just feels that way because we grow up thinking that there are people that are smarter than us that have made decisions for us. But the truth is, as you become a, an adult, you realize, hey, I'm actually smarter than a lot of people. There's some things that I am, you know, like there's some things that I am smarter than like 10,000 other people at. Like, I'm pretty sure like I have been working on music production like I have been making music electronic music for like since I was 20 24 25 actually 23 so it's like maybe like seven years that I've you know worked on things with that it's been mostly a hobby and I've been putting things on the internet but I'm pretty sure like I'm better than 10,000 people at that and because many, many people have not decided to learn that, obviously, right? And many people have not decided to dedicate seven years of knowledge into that particular hobby, right? Or a particular skill. And so, yeah, like, just because they're older than me doesn't mean, like, just because someone's, like, you know, 50 years old, it's not like automatically they're going to know music production, right? They're not going to know anything about music production. They're going to seem stupid next to me when they talk about music production because they know nothing. And I know seven years worth of that knowledge, right? Um, and so we have the power to make change in the world. We have the power to change the structure when things are not going the right way, when people are doing the wrong things, when people are being you know, malintention, they have the malintention or they have bad intentions, we can change that. And social media has been like one of the greatest 
power givers to the to us that the history has ever seen. We've all been given a platform to talk about and to share our true opinions and true thoughts. It's not overseen by anybody. This video is purely me. It's me and my phone and that's it. There's nothing in between. There's just me and this phone and every idea that you're getting from this video is just me. It's not going through hundreds of people who have an agenda or who uh, are afraid of some sort of overseer or, or something like that. And this is, this is like, we're getting closer and closer to the epitome of, of truth, really, when it comes to how information is shared. Um, uh, as far as on the internet or through video format, right? So I'd encourage you to take advantage of these things and to, to really just question everything. I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's really a relief for me to start speaking this way and to really just uh, open up about a lot of more about like how I truly think because as far as like as far as I can be honest on my other video uh, as far as like being honest on my other videos I have been fully but there are things that I don't really want to talk about because I feel like um because I've always felt like it will lead down a path that I don't really want to go down. And, um, but that tells me all the more that I should. Um, there has been a bit of fear of like, will I regret putting these things out there? But if I don't, if I don't share what I think in this way, I think I would probably feel worse about myself. I'd probably feel like, I won't feel as happy about that. Like talking this way in this video, it feels like a relief. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll, have, I'll be having more updates uh, coming along. And uh, I really hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I wish you uh, good health and, and, a, and a happy mind and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, um, and a sound, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm sh I was trying to say some kind of like newscaster sign out right now, but yeah, I just, I, I hope you're doing well. And I hope, uh, that this message is, uh, is, is of use to you. Uh, all right. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for sitting through this, um, this conversation or this video and, uh, I will catch you in the next video. Okay. Thanks. Bye.